Hi friends, today we have the Wise Video Doorbell version 2. This is what comes in the box. We have a fun little sticker here. This here is the wedge. It's about 30 degrees, but in practice, I think it's a bit more angled compared to the original Wise Doorbell V1. Watch to the end and you'll see a comparison. Here's the back plate which the doorbell attaches to. This is the doorbell. I like the black color. And here on the side is the micro SD card slot. The wiring that the kit comes with is packaged here, and lastly, the Wise Chime controller. The doorbell itself is about 1 and 3 quarters of an inch by 4 and a half inches tall. The depth is about 1 inch. We've wired this up to the doorbell and our mechanical chime. One important note, we had a small issue with the instructions that Wise included on the app. Initially, the chime didn't work, and we ended up having to reverse the red and white wires, which was suggested by their support. Here we have wired it to what worked for us. If you're unsure, you'll want to consult with an electrician. Let's take a look at the app. We're pretending to deliver a Wise doorbell so you can get a sense of normal use. You can adjust playback speeds up to four times to quickly go through the recording and navigate to what you want. Then you can zoom in to get a clearer look. If needed, there's a jump to SD button which is really convenient to review more of the event. You'll want a good size micro SD card to handle the recordings. We recommend the SanDisk or Samsung Endurance cards. Let's go into the settings now. It has the motion detection zones. You can adjust the detection easily here. Here is the event recording preferences. Now here is the notification setup. You can adjust it for the type of events you want to be notified for. This is the advanced settings. You can set up your continuous recording here and manage the micro SD card. Lastly, there are a bunch of additional options here that you can adjust accordingly to your liking. This screen is the doorbell chime type. You usually just need to set this up once, but if you want to disable the doorbell, you can do it here. A nice feature here is the canned responses you can use that will play at the doorbell. Lastly, I wanted to show you the 2K video quality. It's pretty sharp and does a great job for us. We were using the V1 prior to this. Here's a quick side-by-side -side of what our old field of view was and the quality. The Wise Doorbell V2 is a great upgrade and we love it. Thanks for watching and hope this helps you.